Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do problem one of the Yusako December contest for silver. Now, as you can see, um, this one is a full solve. So, let's go to the problem first. So, essentially, you have multiple cows, and they each have a different weight. And the goal of this is to try to have as many cows as possible on a tower. And you have N, M different towers. So just by intuition, what do we know? Well, the, in order to achieve this, we want to make sure that each tower has the maximum possible um, number of cows on it. And of course, we have this constraint K telling us how much the difference between each of the levels of the tower has to be. So if we look here for this one, the max we can muster is um uh, four towers of height three and for the last tower it's just of height two that's how we get to 14 and for this one the max we can do is um two towers for four to two cows high for four of the towers and then for the next one it just has to be one and there are two options for that so let's look at this test case and try to work towards the solution so ignoring the constraints one simple way to solve this is if we treated every single one of these uh, cow uh, as of these cow weight pairs as all the separate cows so this we would just count it as nine 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 and we just wouldn't pay attention to the fact that four would be in it, and then they'd be six sevens here, and then there would be five fives. So how would we solve this? Well, what we know here is that you have to have, is that there's K, which in this case is two, and that is what the difference between each level of tower has to be. So when you're constructing it this way, we always know that for as many towers as possible, you would like to use the greatest at the very bottom because that ensures that for the rest of the tower it can fit the maximum possible because if let's say you use seven and there was some let's say there are six over here let's think hypothetically then putting seven at the bottom you wouldn't be able to use six but if you use nine you'd always be able you'd be able to use six so Nine is our best bet. So we can try doing it for our final answers is try to put the five or try to put the four nines down first. Um, and obviously we can have this in sorted order. Then we come to the sevens. Well, we can figure out we can put it on top of this nine. Right? So we go seven, seven, seven. And then what we can what we see is that we have an extra two sevens. But in this case, we can only have five towers at max. So it's not like we can just create new towers and there's no other place for them to go. So for with the one last seven, we can just say that that's placed at the bottom of the next tower. And the reason we can be sure of this is the same as the reason why we are sure that we can put nine at the bottom because as of now and for the future it makes sure that anything on that tower anything on the tower uh, will either be welcomed by seven or there's no better option because everything greater than it's already taken up so now when we go to five we can try putting it on so starting from this side we can can put it on seven because k is two we can put it here we can put it here we can put it here and when looking at this we can also put it here. Now, as you can see, we've maximized the amount of towers, the height, the height for each of these towers, um, using the simple principle. But if you look at these constraints, the number of each cow is much too high to do this. A is up to ten to the power of nine, and 2 times 10 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 9, we can never hope to process it in the time limits. 
So how are we going to process all the weight, uh, all of the weight and number of pairs at once? Well, as we saw here with placing on top of the towers, we can compress that all into one operation. So what do we know? First of all, we have M, which in this case is 5, and we have m towers allocated you can't add any towers beyond that so what do we do at nine because nine is the first one we just put as many of those down as possible which is four same for seven we put seven on top of the towers at all, on top of the existing towers as much as we can because as the problem statement says we need to make sure we can fit as many cows as possible and then what we do is we have to make a new tower we have to make a new tower here because our constraint is not filled up but as you can see 7 is 6 so we can't fill up all those because m is only 5 same procedure for 5 we can put them all on the top but in this case there's no more fives to make a new tower so in this way we are compressing the active processing them one by one so let's look at the actual code of the solution, which is quite simple. And this is just a template here. And as you can see, um, this is simply a way of me compressing the pairs to only make sure that I sort by the beginning, because as you can see here, I just want to sort it by the beginning. Um, and now what we're going to do is we have this pair A, which is going to take in each of these pairs in the input. And here you can see we are going to sort them all. Actually, that's a mistake. Sorry, that's not needed at all. Um, right, that's not needed, sorry. But you can see we're sorting from in, in, in decreasing order. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a Q that represents each of the towers. And basically what this does is the first one is the current weight of the cow on the top of it. And the next one just shows you how many cows are in that tower currently. So what we do for each of the pairs here is, as I said, first we just try to add as many as possible onto existing towers because that's always welcome. And then what this logic is for is to make sure that if there's room left to add more towers that the cow that we use these cows to set up the bottom for those new towers and as you can see we're accounting for the fact that well if if m is filled up which is what tt is it's the total towers currently then we won't actually make any new towers which is what is being done here otherwise we'll try to fill up as many towers as possible so using just a few observations this problem can be solved quite simply um but i hope that as when you try this problem and later realize what you did wrong and how your approach should be altered that you can try to avoid making mistakes like this on next contest okay i hope you liked the video um if you liked it please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one